Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in this video we will be discussing subqueries in SQL and along with that we will also be discussing types of subqueries. There are five types of subqueries, we will go through each of them one by one. So what are subqueries? Subqueries are queries that are, in, that are nested inside another SQL query. There's one simple example over here. Select star from employee where salary is equal to, now it could be anything over here. Like I could write 1000, 2000, 3000, 1 lakh, 5 lakhs. But instead of that, I am writing another query over here, which will return me a similar value like 1000, 2000, 1 lakh. The inner query, what it's doing is select minimum salary from employee. So first the inner query will run and we will get the value over here. And then that value will be returned against this and our query will become something like select star from employee where salary is equal to whatever the value that the inner query returns so this is what subquery is where a query is nested inside another query they help us target specific rows to perform various operations in sql and also they can be nested inside select, insert, update, delete or any other query. Like in this example, we used a select query, but it can also be an update statement or insert statement or delete statement. Subqueries are present in the where clause, as you can see over here, where clause or from clause or having clause of the parent SQL query. They are used with comparison operators, as we can see over here also, there's an equal equal to sign over here it can uh, we can use any comparison operators like less than equal to greater than all in any all of these they execute before the outer query at the runtime and pass the result to the com to complete the statement just what i mentioned earlier first this inner query will be executed and the output of that will be returned and then the outer query will run i hope that is clear and now let's see types of types of subqueries one by one the first one is single row subquery. Subqueries that return a single row as an output to their parent query are called single row subqueries, which means if your inner query, if the nested query is returning just one single row or no rows, then it is known as single row subquery. Like in this example, select minimum salary from employee will return just one value because it's aggregating the result and giving us the minimum salary we cannot have two minimum salaries right so this will return just one single value hence this is a single row subquery this is also an example of single row subquery here what we are doing is select name as painting price and then here another select statement is written over here which is returning a single value from whatever table it you want to use again here we have used an aggregate function which will return a single value so single row subquery means when the inner query is returning a single row as a result now second type of subquery is multiple row subquery which is somewhat like single row subquery only it's just that they return multiple rows and not just one row Select average agency fee from whatever table where ID not in and this is your this is our inner query. Our inner query says select ID from managers. So there are going to be multiple IDs in that table, which means the inner query is returning multiple rows. Hence multiple row subquery. Now let's see the third one, which is multiple column subqueries. As the name suggests, the inner query will return multiple columns. Earlier, earlier multiple rows or single rows were returned. But now, columns, multiple columns will be returned. In this inner query, as you can see, we have two columns that are being returned. One is name, the second is minimum of price. But in all our earlier examples, we were just returning one column which could result either in one row or multiple rows. But here we are selecting multiple columns. Select so-and-so columns from the table paintings where name or price is in. This is our inner query. The inner query is returning two columns. Hence, multiple column subqueries. We can return more than two columns also. 
and that is multiple column subqueries. Now the fourth type of subquery is correlated subqueries. Subqueries that return multiple columns as output depending on the information obtained from the parent query are called correlated subqueries. Now this is a slightly complicated one, but it's easy once you understand it. This is our inner query and this is our outer query. Let's see each of them one by one. So what is our outer query doing? Select last name, salary, department ID from employees. And this is an alias given to it, which is out. This is an alias given to it. Let me write like this. This is an alias given to the outer, outer table. The table that is used in the outer query, where salary is greater than. Now, this is our inner query. Select average salary from employees. Now, again, it is using the same table, where department ID is equal to outer dot department ID. So outer dot department ID outer is an alias given to the to the outer subquery. So it is relating, it is correlating the two queries. When outer query and inner query are related to each other, like in this case, where the outer query has been given an alias outer, and we are using that in our where clause in the inner query. That is when we call it correlated subqueries. We can also use joins in this case and joins perform faster than subqueries but it is up to you as to what you want to use whether you want to use joins or subqueries it's up to you. Now the fifth type of subquery is nested subquery. Subqueries that are inside another subquery are called nested subqueries. Subqueries are executed level by level. The innermost is executed first and then the outer ones. Now this is our example over here. This is our outer query, select name as painting price. Then we have another subquery over here, select average price from paintings by price in. Then there's an, another, another query over here, another subquery over here, select price from paintings where price is greater than or equal to 5000 from paintings. So there are three queries over here, three select statements. And those are nested that, that are that are inside each other like like this one the orange one is inside the gray one then the yellow one the yellow query is inside of the orange one so these are nested subqueries and these subqueries are executed level by level which means the innermost query which is this one will be executed first this will return a value then the outer one will be executed since this one has already returned the result this one will use those values and return return another result and then that result will be used by the outermost query this is what nested subqueries are i hope this video was clear if this video helped you in any way please make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel also comment down any suggestions that you may have for upcoming videos Thank you so much for watching.